Welcome to Physics Arm. Today, in this video, we are going to start a new series, Advanced Physics Problems. In this series, we will be uploading relatively complex or relatively advanced physics problems. Uh, the level of these problems will be from high school physics to MSc level physics. A playlist will be created in the name Advanced Physics Problems and the videos will be uploaded, uh, uploaded in the playlist section very frequently. So, without wasting much time, let's start. Uh, today's problem. So this is the first problem. The problem reads like this. A ball is dropped vertically from a height d above the ground. It hits the ground and bounces up vertically to a height dy2. Neglecting subsequent motion and air resistance, its velocity v varies with height h above the ground h. Okay, and so you are given four graphs. So let's understand the configuration first. So, this is the ground and you have a ball at some height d and you are dropping the ball and when it is, when it is starting off the ground, it is traversing a distance of dy2 and become rest. Okay. Now, what will be the velocity profile? Means velocity versus height. So let's. This is i cap direction. In this direction, this is j cap direction. In the proper direction. Okay. Now the ball is starting from this point. Suppose this is point P. So what will be the equation governing the motion of this ball? The equation will be v square plus two u square plus two g h. Okay. Now, suppose we have considered this point, this, this is Q, which is at height h. Okay, so we are considering the height from the ground. So at this point, what will be the velocity? So we are writing V down and we are giving a vector sign because the ball is moving downwards. So during its downwards journey, we are denoting the velocity by V down. And this will be u, u, u is 0 because starting from rest, we are just dropping the ball. V will be equal to root over 2gh. Here, h is the distance travelled by the ball. See, if the total distance is d, then what is this distance? It will be d minus h. So, 2g, here in place of h, we have to write d minus h. Now we have added a vector sign here, so what will be the sign? It is moving in the j cap direction, but it is negative j cap direction. So j cap with a negative sign. Okay. So from the journey, from the from this position p to up to this ground, the velocity is always negative. Now uh, from the given options, we see some of the options are straight line and some of the options are parallel. So it is not an equation of a straight line. So some parabola option will be correct. Now, after striking the ground, the ball will achieve some velocity, some reduced velocity. Suppose the velocity at this point is this V down. Now the ball hit the ground and it achieves some speed u prime. Okay, and after achieving this d by two height, it is again at rest. So we are Using the same equation, v square equals to u square. Now here minus two g h will be there because the ball is moving upward. So v square equals to u square minus two g h. Ultimately, it will be at rest. So v is equals to zero. Zero square equals to the initial speed u prime square minus two g. And what is the value of h? H is d by two. Okay. Therefore, your u prime is velocity will be equals to root of what? G okay, so this is the velocity. What will be the height then? Therefore, velocity during this journey, this upward journey, will be from this equation d equals to root of r u square minus 2 gh. Now we have got u, 
So u square means g d minus 2 g h h is d by h is h. Okay. Now you put h equals to d by 2, you will get 0. That's when it will achieve the uh, height d by 2, the ball will be at rest. So this is the trajectory during the upward journey. And this is the equation which is governing the downward journey. Okay, so in this two equation direct us to choose the first option. So the first option you see at h equals to zero, we uh, have got some positive value, and which is much clear from this equation. H equals to d, the velocity is zero, and which is clear from this equation also. From the downward motion also you get to see uh, from this equation. So, the correct option is option 1.